All right. So, so that's what we had about simple concept of effective rate of return. Now, we have a very important concept of depreciation. We often come across a concept of appreciation, which means an increase in the value. Now, when we have depreciation, basically a depreciation means fall in the value of any term. There is a fall in the value. Now, what are the kind of things that could fall in value? Value of human beings often falls because with old age, we got moving parts. So, the value definitely keeps falling. But we don't generally calculate that because we also take into account emotions and so many not to do and do's. But machinery is very important, undergoes a depreciation. And that's, hand, that's the reason why machines, cars, vehicles, all these things, when you sell them, on a used car or second by hand car, the value is much less than what you actually bought. So, for example, a car which may have cost, say, in 2000, maybe in 2000, would have cost around, say, 2 lakhs. You bought it fresh for 2 lakhs. All the body parts, everything was very, very perfect, nothing much. And by the time it is 2010, you decide to, the average life you decided roughly of a car, maybe a general car, is around. 10 years. So the life is over, practically over and you plan to sell the car and you get, you are able to fetch a price of around 50,000 suppose. So in that case, this is generally called the scrap value and this is the cost of the car. So a simple way, so from this, from in a simple, in a simple manner, you see that there is a fall in the value from 2 lakh to 50,000. And that fall in the value is called the total depreciation. So the total depreciation is equal to the cost minus the scrap value. That is 2 lakh minus 50,000, 1 lakh 50,000. 50,000 is the net fall in the value or total depreciation. But this takes place on an average per year at 1,50,000 by 10 because there are 10 years. So in 10 years, the value has fallen by this much. So on an average in one year, the fall in the value has been around 15,000. It's a very simple, straightforward, linear method of calculating the depreciation. So this is a rate of depreciation, depreciation rate per year per annum is 15,000 per annum. So this is called the straight line method of calculating the depreciation because there are so many assumptions made in this. However, in real, real life, we do not do it this way because whenever you're talking about machinery, suppose you talk about any machinery, machinery requires a lot of maintenance. It has a lot of maintenance and then there is a depreciation. These two together help in the fall in the machinery. So, suppose in 2000 you take, initially the maintenance will be very low. We know that for the first four or five years or first year, you hardly need to send it for servicing because the body parts are all, all the various parts of the car, spick and span, brand new. Chances of them getting damaged by regular, of course, there is an accident. We don't consider those cases. Regular usage does not require that high degree of maintenance. So initial years, maintenance is going to be very, very low. But as we go year after year, the maintenance amount goes on increasing. And the depreciation accordingly will change. But the net of maintenance and depreciation is more or less maintained the same. Hence, if maintenance goes on decreasing, the depreciation value goes on decreasing so that the net value remains the same. So, in such cases, some for machinery, some fixed rate has been given, say 10% depreciation value takes place. So, depreciation rate, the value goes on decreasing as a result of it. So, suppose the same machinery, say 2 lakhs, you bought it on the first year. At the end of the first year, after this is one year, 
at the end of the first year that is in the beginning of the second year or at the end of the first year the value will fall by 10% so minus 20 thousand so the value will now be 1 lakh 80 thousand the value would reduce to 1 lakh 80 thousand the net value and <clears throat> further in the third year there will be a further fall in the value by 10,000 that is 1 lakh 80,000 minus 18,000 so the third year's value will be 1 lakh 62,000 and in the next year it will be further falling by 16,200 in this way final value in 2010 could work out to be 15,000 so here it is a much more layered way of calculating wherein there is a depreciation taking place or a fall in the value as a percentage over that of the previous kind of previous kind value of the previous year. In short, if you see it is almost a reverse of appreciation as in the case of compound interest or population of a town. While compound interest amount was calculated as P into 1 plus R raised to N, this would be a is equal to P into 1 minus D, which is the depreciation rate. You can even call it R raised to N. This is annual depreciation. So, the plus is replaced by minus. Now, this is called the WDV or written down value. And this is a more acceptable form of calculating the depreciation rate, which is taken by all accountants, chartered accountants for calculating the depreciation rate of machines. Because so many other factors have to be taken into account and depreciation always takes place over the value at the end of the previous year. Just as compound interest is calculated on the amount that is accrued at the end of the previous year. So thus we have the concept of depreciation. We shall again refresh ourselves with these concepts again in the next few uh, moments. Let's see what we have further. So further we have the methods of depreciation as I told the straight line method is a simple method calculate the cost of the machine and at the end of the period calculate the scrap value the difference between them would give you the total depreciation divided by the number of years will give you the rate of depreciation written down value method of course as I told you which will be based on the value of the machinery which would be P into 1 minus D raised to N We'll be taking up examples based on these, but let's give a quick look to these.